Nina Wickman. like this in about 10 years, so this is really kind of fun. Um, I mean, I'm going to sing a song, but <laughs> well, <I think> it's <laughs> <in the> bag. <laughs> encouraging front row, I like that. Um, but before I sing, I want to share a poem with you, because this was a poem that kind of took me by surprise. Boy, that's going to drive me nuts, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> we're, yeah, okay. we're working on it. All right. Um, wait, wait for it. Yeah, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it. It's right in my camera, right? Click track. Is it a great Is it a divorce? Teamwork. Is it in the office? Yeah. Yeah, maybe move the bag outside the room. It's the computer or something. Alright, we're going to go through your stuff. <laughs> we are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> I don't want to even try to tell a joke because I will just bump. <laughs> Your brother. Oh, 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 what is it? If, well, if Mike can just ask to maybe take the bag downstairs. No. So oh, 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 success! On with the show! On with the show, thank you. Victory! <laughs> So, I wrote a lot of poetry when I was younger, but I haven't written a lot of poetry as an adult. But I just, um, this past Father's Day, I felt inclined to write a poem for my father-in-law. He is a poet himself, and he and I have a very special relationship that's grown um, even closer to the last couple of years since he's been rendered blind because of a couple of strokes. And so, um, this is what came out, and I just thought I'd like to share it. Uh, it's called Father's Day 2015. I came into your family so young and naive, unacquainted with bloodlines and second cousins once removed, and the idea that family meant belonging. Two babies came quickly, and quickly I became overwhelmed, ill-equipped to face my emerging demons. As I wrestled with the past, while trying to raise the future, I somehow missed the present life you were leading. I'm sure you told me stories and conversations on the phone of books and accolades and brushing shoulders with the renown, but I didn't listen well, as one ear was always attuned to the chaos at home or in my soul, which was always louder than anything else. I always liked you, enjoyed your humor, had fun on holidays, loved how you grandfathered, but never really knew you or let you know me. For it was normal for me to be heard, but not seen. So we had years, decades of pleasant distance, some nice memories, a good talk now and then, but nothing much to write about until now. Why it took two strokes to bring us closer, I will never understand. But as the old saying goes, God works in mysterious ways. I'm so grateful for the countless hours of reading to you, some books I'd never have read otherwise, and our discussions both serious and light, which served as a canvas on which we painted a new depth and vulnerability. And somewhere along the way, I realized I finally have a father and he doesn't need sight to see me. I only wish you could see the smile on my face as I listen to your stories now.
As you can imagine, it was one of the delights of my life to read that to him on okay. Father's Day. This song I'm going to share with you um, is actually written by a friend of mine. Um, you know how sometimes that you play those games where it's like, if you could take three songs on a desert island, what would they be? And I always name this one. Of course, nobody ever knows it. But for me, I would want to have this with me and sing it on a desert island. So it's called New Jerusalem. And I'll give credit, the guy who wrote his name is Tom Lillo, and some of you in this room know him. So. will be better. <laughs> Nina Wickman, everyone, let's give her a round of applause. Woo!